Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, May 24th. It's the week of Pentecost and week one in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 18, verse 20 to 42. And Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1 to 27. And now join me, please, in singing the second verse of Come, Holy Ghost Creator. Thou who art called the paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet action and true love. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, God most high, you rewarded me according to my righteousness. Alleluia, Psalm 18. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, God most high, you rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hands, you have rewarded me. For I have kept your ways and have not wickedly departed from you. For all your judgments were before me, and I did not put away your statutes. I was upright before you, and I kept myself from iniquity. And therefore you have rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands in your sight. With the merciful you will show yourself merciful. With the upright you will show yourself upright. With the pure you will show yourself pure. And with the forthright you will show yourself forthright. For you will save the afflicted, but will bring down the haughty. For you will light my candle, you bring light to my darkness. For by you I have run through a troop, and by you I have leaped a wall. Your way is perfect, your word is tried in fire, you are buckler and shield to all that trust in you. For who is God but you? Who is a rock save our God? It is you that girds me with strength and makes my way perfect. You make my feet short-footed like the deer, and you set me upon high places. You train my hands for battle, so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. You have given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand holds me up, and your gentleness has made me great. You have lengthened my stride under me, that my feet did not slip. I pursued my enemies and overtaken them, I did not turn again until they were consumed. I have wounded them that were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For you have girded me with strength for the battle. You have subdued those that rose against me. You have given my enemies into my hands, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried to God, but there was none to save them. You did not answer them. And then I beat them small like dust before the wind, and cast them out like dirt into the streets. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, God most high, you rewarded me according to my righteousness. Alleluia. A reading from the Proverbs, chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. My child, keep my words and store up my commandments with you. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teachings as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on a tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call insight your intimate friend, that they may keep you from the loose woman from the adulteress with her smooth words. For at the window of my house I looked out through my lattice, and I saw among the simple ones, I observed among the youth, a young man without sense, passing along the street near her corner, taking the road to her house in the twilight in the evening, 
at the time of night and darkness. Then a woman comes forward toward him, decked out like a prostitute, wily of heart. She is loud and wayward, and her feet do not stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, and at every corner, she lies in wait. She seizes him and kisses him, and with impudent face she says to him, I had to offer sacrifices, and today I have paid my vows. So now I have come out to meet you, to seek you eagerly, and I have found you. I've decked my couch with coverings, colored spreads of Egyptian linen. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home. He is gone on a long journey. He took a bag of money with him. He will not come home until full moon. With much seductive speech, she persuades him. With her smooth talk, she compels him. Right away, he follows her and goes like an ox to the slaughter or hounds like a stag toward the trap, until an arrow pierces its entrails. He is like a bird rushing into a snare, not knowing what it, that it will cost him his life. And now, my children, listen to me, and be attentive to the words of my mouth. Do not let your hearts turn aside to her ways, and do not stray into her paths. For many are those she has laid low, and numerous are her victims. Her house is the way to Sheol, going down to the chambers of death. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, grant us victory over sin and death. Never let us lose heart in the day of battle. For you are our rock and our salvation, and blessed are you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.